What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Dakar Desert Rally, hope you're doing good, hope you are doing well. Today we're going to be checking out an ATV, man, a, bit, a little bit of quad bike action, some four wheelers, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, we're going to jump on this bad boy, so um, for those of you who've already been watching some videos, thank you very much. Uh, we've done a career mode video, we've done, you might have seen the, the car, some car gameplay already, uh, maybe some tracks, depending on what I put out first, but yeah. This is uh, not necessarily part of career mode, this is just kind of a quick check out of the ATVs for anyone that's interested. Um, it is partially obviously to do with career mode. Um, so basically we... I haven't actually won this bike yet, or I don't own it. Uh, I basically got... when you podium an entire rally, you get like a... you can spin the wheel and you get various things to choose from. Um, and we've got like a sponsor challenge, so this is going to be our quad bike that we need to do a sponsor challenge on. Uh, you can see there it is in the professional mode, this is when you actually have to read the road book. Uh, you don't get your waypoints up in front of you. So this could be an interesting video because I've not done very much of the professional stuff. I've mainly been doing uh, sport mode on the bike or in the cars and stuff. Um, so yeah, this could be fun, but the challenge it's given me is in professional mode. I, I think I won this during professional mode So when I was just messing about. So makes sense, makes sense. Anyway, if we have a quick look at this bad boy, we're going to be jumping on the, uh, the Yamaha Raptor 700. It's all brand spanking new. It's the... Um, Cassell racing team, I guess. Cassell, Cassell, however you want to say that one. Yeah. Not, I mean, it's alright. It looks alright. It looks alright. Little, not a big fan of the green, the lube, lubrax, <laughs> whatever that is. Uh, but the thing itself looks sick, man. The ATVs are pretty cool in this game. I've just got the Mad Road book up in front. Uh, yeah, there we go. So, without further ado, I'm not sure how long this video is going to be. Maybe we'll do a sport mode uh, quad bike video as well, in a, or at race in a minute as well. Uh, but for now, let's jump into this one. It is just the first Dakar qualifications level, which I've done a few times already. Uh, so I sort of know where I'm going already. So hopefully it won't matter too much that I've got no idea what I'm doing with the road book. Right, here we go then. Let's go, let's go, let's go. See what we can do. We're uh, obviously it's all going to be a nice fresh condition. It's brand new. We haven't obviously used it at all yet. So I'm not entirely sure what the challenge is, the sponsor challenge. It doesn't actually say. So I mean, I guess we'll just jump straight into it. It's just a normal qualification stage. This is the first thing you do basically in career mode. Um, you can do it a few times, obviously, with each vehicle, with each of the five vehicles. Yeah, five vehicles. Uh, so we're setting off third. We're obviously, as I said, in professional mode, so we're going to have to read our roadbook and stuff. Here we come. Cheeky Red Bull sponsored helmet, which is nice. Very nice indeed, very nice indeed. We'll have a little look at this cutscene, I suppose. You rev that engine, buddy. Yeah, let's good, let's good, let's good. Alright, happy days, let's get on with it. Oh, don't rub your goggles like that, mate. They're going to get all smeared. This could be tough. As I said, it's the qualification level, so I've done it a few times already. We pop some wheelies on this bad boy. Oh, we actually can. Sick. Oh, I tell you what. ATVs, mate. ATVs might be the way to go. This was pretty, uh, oh, pretty good. Right, now I've actually got to pay attention now. So we're going straight, and we're going to go to the left, and then we got some. That wiggly line, I assume, means just some terrain to uh, deal with. Uh, right to the left and then down to the right, right to the left and down this way. So then you do get a compass in the middle at the top as you can see. Uh, but you only get it on the, the main checkpoints or certain checkpoints I think. Certain waypoints I should say. It's called waypoints not checkpoints. I'll tell you what man, ATV, this is the first time I've jumped on ATV. So genuinely this is the first time I've rode an ATV in this game. This feels good. This was that was probably better than the bikes, if I'm being brutally honest. Oh, maybe we should uh, do an ATV career, mate. Right, so we're going right to this way. I'm trying to read the roadmap down there in the bottom right, but it's so difficult trying to do this, honestly, and ride at the same time. So we're coming up to 12.76 kilometers. Yeah, it turned in, mate. So at that point, we need to turn right, which is around here. It doesn't drift very well, that is one thing I will say. Uh, so that was the right hand turn, then we go obviously go do a left hand turn down there. A bit of handbrake, rear brake, and then we want to go off down here. See that doesn't really make any sense, but over some water, as you can see in the little image there. I'll check that fishing boat. As I said, I do kind of know this level already, this stage, so I'm, I'm probably doing better than I would on a brand new stage. And then we've got a compass back at the top there. I'm not sure why we get the compass on uh, certain waypoints. Let me know in the comments if anybody knows. Then we're going to be off onto this mountain. At 16.9, we're going through these two rocks here. As you can see, a little rock valley kind of thing. So that's what that kind of means on the roadmap down there. 
Uh, we're going to go past the house, supposedly. I haven't seen a house yet, or does it mean that? No? Oh, there we go. There's the houses. Oh, then we want to go to the right. Wasn't paying attention. At 19 kilometers. Uh, through some rocks, and then we want to go around to the left at 20.98, which is about now. This is going to be fun trying to do this in career mode properly, like if we do the professional career. Let me know what you guys want to see. As I said, this is kind of just an ATV gameplay video, not a career mode. So, I uh, appreciate some of you might be here just looking for the gameplay, not for the career mode stuff. But, um, yeah, it's going to be tough deciding whether we do a lot of sport mode or a lot of professional mode. We'll do a bit of both, I guess. It does just mean doing the same levels over and over again, obviously, if you do both. So, And then, as I said, I've done this a few times, so I know we go flying over these dunes now. In a minute, we'll jump into a... If I can, I'll jump into a sport mode. ATV race. Blah, yeah, bump there. And we'll uh, mess about the views and stuff that we can go through and yeah, just see, just so you guys can get a comparison of the two. Shooting off over this way. We're not going to win this, are we? I just realised we're in P3. I forgot we were trying to win the uh, trying to win the race. Well, I assume we're trying to win the race. Oh, yeah. I tell you what, they do. Uh, it's a little bit happy, a little bit drift happy. I find that with kind of all the vehicles so far. So I've done a little bit of everything. I've done a bit of bikes, a bit of cars. Obviously, it's the first time on the uh, ATVs. But we'll do a video on the lorries as well. Um, but yeah, so far everything's quite drifty and it gets kind of stuck in the drift. You can't, you can't bring it back. But hey, we pop a little wheelie across the line. Oh, P2. Is that enough to keep the bike? It's completed. Podium dip. Creative Coconut. Castile Racing. Raptor. 700. We're on the podium, surely that means we get the bike. Gotta be. No? But yeah, they feel good. So, obviously, as I said, this is meant to be an ATV gameplay video. So, uh, that bike felt good. That felt good. Felt better than the, the, the motorbikes, if I'm honest. Felt easier to control. Um, I mean, I guess it would be. Driving over sand dunes on a quad bike is probably, you know, four wheels are always a little bit easier than two. You're gonna get hate in the comments for that. But, uh, did we win? I don't know. Does that mean I get that quad? I mean, we came P2, as I said, we got a podium, so... Go back to the garage. Hey, I think we got it. It doesn't really... Yeah, okay, well, there you go. There's one thing to note when you get your sponsor challenges. It doesn't really tell you a lot about it, does it? But uh, it's in the garage now, and it doesn't say sponsor challenge, so I guess that means we got it. Uh, what we'll do is just quickly see if it needs a service. I don't think it does. It probably should be pretty... Uh... Nah, it's going to cost us four to sort out the wheels and the... A few other little bits. Yeah, all the wheels, basically. Yeah, nothing. Cool. Let's do that, shall we? Make it brand spanking new again. As I said, let's do a quick sport mode race. So this is your, for those of you who don't know, these are your free options, basically, at the moment. You can't really change the difficulty very much. You can't customize it. This is kind of your set modes. So the AI are harder and professional. Obviously, you've got to read your, your road book and all that sort of stuff. The AI are easier in sport. You haven't got to read the road book. You get waypoints. And then uh, you got to reach level 25 before you can do sim. But sim is insane, apparently. Like, it's, it's going to be mad. Um, there's, like, no auto save features no you can't like quit halfway through a, a, a stage so we'll do one at some point but uh, not for a while probably so let's jump into sport um does it count see it doesn't count even though we just did that in professional you can see on the left here the quad bike column is empty so there's a lot of replay value in that sense but it also means obviously doing the same things a lot so i'm wondering whether it's best to do like an absolute load of sport mode get used to all the trails, all the rally courses and stuff, and then uh, jump into professional. But anyway, as I said, this is a quad bike gameplay video. So let's, uh, I guess we'll do, we won't do the same one we just did. We'll jump into some Red Sea Valley stuff. We'll do uh, we'll do Duba, I guess. Again, I think I did this for the, um, the car video that I did. So apologies if you've ever seen the same levels. Uh, just come back for career mode and obviously we'll jump into loads of other uh, levels, other stages, so. Yeah, for this one, we'll just, we'll, uh, as I said, we'll do sport mode. I'll jump into some different camera views. We'll just mess up out a bit. But uh, so far, they feel pretty good, the quads. Pretty good indeed. Here we go then. Stage one, Duba. We'll just do this one. Um, this one's pretty short, I think, but we'll just uh, make this a quick video, as I said. So we're going off fourth place. In sport mode, for those of you who don't know, you go off with everybody else. So it's not like a real Dakar rally. Obviously, in the real Dakar, you go off individually. Time trial event. Not a uh, sort of actual race with other people directly around you. Um, I quite like this bike sport mode. It's a, you know, it makes it a bit different. 
is obviously a lot more arcade based. Starts are better on the quads than they are on the cars. The cars will crash into each other, which is interesting. But yeah, so as you can see, you haven't got your road book down in the right. And as I said, you can't kind of customize your difficulty because it'd be nice to have the road book and the waypoint markers. Obviously, you've got the big yellow markers up in front of you, which makes it obviously a lot easier. You've got your little icons in the middle of the screen there, those four icons that you can see. Which gives you a little bit of information, but it's not quite as much as the road book. So, hopefully, it'd be nice to be able to customize your difficulty and like ride in sport mode, but have your, way, your, uh, your road book there so you can learn more basically. I thought that would be a good way to learn the road book, obviously. Being able to see where the waypoints are and matching them up to your, uh, to your road book, as I said. So, See what this feels a little bit floaty on this sand, this lighter sand. Let's uh, mess about the view. So you got obviously close up, far away. Uh, first person with like nothing or there. Obviously you can't see the bike, can't see handlebars. Yeah, and you got this one where you can see the handlebars. I'm gonna crash. You can see your roadmap. So that's what I'm talking about in front of you there. The roadmap. I guess you could just race in this view and uh, read your roadmap from there. I assume it actually updates. Must it? Crazy if it didn't. Yeah, it moves. Cool. Oh, where are we going? Go the wrong way. Yeah, this view's alright, it's alright. Oh, we've been absolutely destroyed by the AI. We ain't gonna be winning this one, I'm telling you now. Come on, get back on, get back on, get back on. Right, where are we going? Up around this way. Well, the views we got. Got the kind of drain shot. And then back to the, uh, yeah, close up kind of view. It's not as many, obviously, as you would in the car. Obviously, in the car, you've got the cockpit, various different views. But, um, yeah, feels good, man. Feels good, looks good. Right away, you can control your right away if you turn on any options. Definitely recommend if you're riding the bikes and ATVs. Uh, turn that on. It's all left stick based, so the right stick literally just does the camera. Uh, so if you want to lean back, you can lean back on the left stick. If you want to lean forward, you obviously push forward on the left stick. Uh, and obviously left and right turns left and right. But um, that's pretty much it. We're at the end of our stage already. We are dead last pretty much, sixth place. We're going to get third somehow. I'm assuming some people got some penalties or... Yeah, we obviously made up some time somewhere, but uh, that's what I mean. The AI are kind of easy. Like we did pretty bad then, and uh, we still managed to get third because yeah, these boys have had a, a minute, two minute penalties. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It'd be nice if we could customize it a little bit more. But um, there we go. Just a quick video, as I said, of the ATV gameplay. Stick around for career mode. There should be an episode out of career mode already, so go check that one out if you missed it or if you want to uh, get involved. And uh, yeah, leave some comments down below if you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Let me know some tips and tricks if you're playing along. And subscribe to the channel. We very much appreciate it. We're on the uh, the road to a thousand subscribers, so hopefully we can get there before the end of the year. Well, I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time for some more Dakar. Cheers. Bye.